Bay, we're checking out live. For the, for the most part, the first time. And I do have a few little things I can, a um, few little tips I can give to anybody playing this for the first time, or anybody picking this up and not knowing too much about it like me. I just came into it pretty fresh. I didn't really know too much about it. All I know is it had a lot of great talk behind it. So let's get it going. Really, I'm going to go into a few things that I think is are, are a must uh, in my first playthrough. Um, uh, I have seen some of these things that could be changed in the beginning of the options. And the um, first tip I give to anybody starting off this game for the first time is to go to the options. There are really options here, but I will go to gameplay first. And you see the difficulty I have it on negative, I guess, or zero, easy. Because it goes up pretty high here. And to start off, this game is right here. And I think that might be medium or easy, but it is brutal, especially if you don't know how to play. So my first suggestion when you get this game, if you don't even know what the hell you're doing, like I didn't know what I was doing, put it on this. Put it on the easiest difficulty you can in the beginning until you learn the controls. Because after when you put it on easy, it's so much easier, obviously, to uh, get this game. So I would definitely put that first. That's my one of my only first tips I can give you. Difficulty all the way down because it'll be a lot easier to learn this game. Um, second wind, I don't know too much about that, how that works, but I put up a little bit. Momentum. Uh, put it at zero. Match length. They do have a match length here, and um, I guess, I mean, the lower, the shorter the matches. I put a nice little match length there. This is a full match, and let's go to like there. You know, some action there. And grapple assist. So they have this grapple assist in here, which, um, if you read there, flashes green and red to educate if you're doing it bad or good. So I let that go. So especially if you're learning, definitely. So yeah, like I said. The one of the biggest tips, go to your options, gameplay, put the difficulty all the way down if you just learned this game, because it's so much easier. We're going to get into that right now. The controls, um, you're going to learn this during the story mode. So another tip um, is to play the story mode and you get all the controls. There's a tutorial and there's an achievement for that. So you get all kinds of good stuff. So uh, do the tutorial, uh, the, the story mode. And i go back to that and show you that in a minute. But here's all the, all the controls here. Um, once you f learn these, it gets a little bit easier. So, X is going to be for weak uh, move, or weak move. Strong move is B, Y is run, and A is medium. So, whatever controls you on, I'm on Xbox. So, the bottom three buttons are for moves, and the R button on top is the run, so it helps me a lot. Uh, then, in the bottom, you see right here, you see to climb, the exit out the. Um, uh, ring you gotta double tap the direction you want to exit out. I didn't know that at the beginning So that's very good to know so double tap I use the direction of button the direction you want to get out to get out the ring but Then the climb a, if you see down here to climb a cage you press directional button up and If you want to throw somebody into the corner instead of pulling a move with um, X A or B you just press Y in the direction of the corner. That's very similar to like the rest of the games now sort of. So that's the controls <laughs> Um, once you play the tutorial, it's a lot better. Better, better explanations mm. than I can do. Um, but this the tutorial is going to be in the story mode up here. I already started it, so there's no use to really going back to it. Maybe I'll go back to it at the end of this video. Or at the end of the stream. But let's get into some action. Let's go to versus mode. I'm going to see if I can show off the stuff I have learned so far. And see if I can help anybody who's watching this right now and first starting off. Let's just check it out live. Flex 7 on Twitch. Let's keep it rolling. Singles match. Let's do this first. Now we'll go through what I'm impressed with and what I'm not, what I'm not that impressed with. I wasn't impressed with this, the the um, roster. I mean, I know some indie guys, and I, I actually know all these guys. I've seen all these guys. I'm not saying that some of these guys and legends in their own right are really good, but I wasn't that impressed. It didn't pull me in to get this game. Most other things did that. So let's go over that. But I'm gonna see who am I gonna play with first here. I was kind of impressed with Jeff Cobb. I'm gonna be Jeff Cobb actually. Against, I'm not sure if it's random, but let's see what we got here. Let's go against. I haven't seen Nikol, uh, Nikita Kolov. I haven't really heard of this guy, so. Uh, maybe he's a legend, I don't even know, honestly. Let's go with him. Rules. You can pick your, all the rules here. Files count anywhere. Let's put that on, actually. I haven't did that yet. AI battle, eh, you know how I feel about AI battles if you know me. You want to see the AI battle, man. I want to get in there. I want to get in there. So, false count anywhere on. Let's do that. No cage. Let's go back. This was one of the things right here that impressed me that actually pulled me into this game that I want to get. 
the arenas. They have so many cool arenas, actually. The Retromania, the school, ballroom, uh, Hammerstein, Hammerstein ballroom, or Jammerstein ballroom, Japan, uh, the RME warehouse. I'm not sure about that one that much. The beach, NWA 7th, 70th anniversary. Speaking of 70th, make sure to check out G7th, 7th, 7th, G7 games on YouTube for a lot of great content. NWA Power. House of Hardcore, Stevie Richard Fitness, Universal Wrestling College. I've not been there yet. Pro Wrestling Tees, shout out. Too many games. This is one. I'm, I'm a, you know, obviously, I'm a big time. Oh, I'm a big time gamer, old school gamer. I love the arcade cabinets, and I love the feeling of this. One. We might do this first. Too many games. This is, I think it's so cool. Stomp in Paradise, Hell. I have seen that. That's pretty. That's a pretty cool one. Uh, the Major, uh, the Wrestling Figures Podcast uh, in British Arena. We're gonna start off. With too many games. This is one of the more ones I'm impressed with. Live from Oaks, Pennsylvania, I believe. PA, welcome to the best retro gaming convention on the East Coast. Wow, I would love to go there one day. I really, G7, Flex G7, would, would love to go there one day. Represent for G7 games. Let's pick and start it off. Again, this is Retro Mania. The first time, we're not going to do the first time, we're going to do the second time for you. And has no time limit. And falls count anywhere in the arena. Introducing first from Honolulu, Hawaii, Mr. I'm athletic, be him. Jeff. Mr. Athletic. Club. I do like the opponent from the USSR, like the Russian nightmare, Nikita Kolov. I haven't really. I played with Jeff Cobb once. I have not seen Nikita Kolov that much. Ian was and what you get, what you have to do to start it off is you have you have three bars up underneath your health, and those three bars are weak, medium, and um, hardcore or whatever. Across, and you gotta level them up. So if you're playing on Xbox One, which I'm playing on now, I'm using the X button for the light moves. That's what you gotta do. If you do anything else, it's not gonna go. So you gotta build it up. See if you look. I feel like I win this grapple off here. The reversal. Cop! Oh crap. Cop, listen. So I, gotta, so I got medium already, so I can do medium moves. So I can press A if I wanted to during some of these things. See so if I can do a medium. So I got him ready, I can do a medium. Boom! Medium move there. And obviously it's a cool move. And just like any game, like the rest of the games now, do up. Left, down, and right to perform a move. Let's see if we can get another one here. I'm just punching with the lights. Get a medium kick in there. Bomb. Kick him with a crotch. Get another light spin. Quick work, Jeff Cobb. I gotta quick him see if I can do a left. Boom, that's left, medium. Oh, triple suplex. And still toss him around. If it does seem kind of easy, I did. In the beginning of this video, the stream here. I did put it on very easy, because I'm telling you, the hard, this game is pretty difficult. They don't fuck around. Oh! I think I just finish it, and I'm, I see the, when everything's flashing, I, mean, I got ultimate meter, so I can use anything. I can use a light, I can use medium or heavy attacks on the opponent. The good thing is, though, I'm going to get on his ass. Boom! The good thing is, though, if you beat up on your opponent, they lose their momentum. So, they stay in last for us. So, let me see if I can maybe put a finisher off. I'm going to go for a... Oh, shit. I'm going to go for a hard attack. He's whooping his ass. Damn. I am impressed. i, I got to say, I'm impressed by the move sets in this game. They have so many cool moves, and everybody's different. So, that's really hot. So, I got that over really fast. So, you might want to adjust. I might want to adjust the... Link the matches, but since I'm just starting off, if you're just starting off out there, it's a lot easier this way. Let's go to another versus match. Let's do one more sequence match before we get into anything crazier. I de definitely impressed with Jeff Cobb, it's really cool. And I will say here, shout out to the World Warriors, Hawk and Animal. When I was a kid, me and my, I believe my half brother, uh, Thino, shout out to you, bro, Valentino, shout out to you, bro. We used to pretend we were the Road Warriors. I mean, he always used to see be the same person. He always was Hulk, because he was taller than me, and I was shorter, so I was Animal. Let's represent for Animal right now. Shout out there. Um, we're going to be... 
Who should we fight against? Uh, I'm seeing Volkov there. This Kogan also an idol. I have not seen him yet myself. Again, the stages have impressed me so much. We did the too many game stage. And I believe if you look at the too many game stage, there's so many Easter eggs I've heard. There's a whole bunch of YouTubers and different guys there, so that's really cool. Um, let's go in order now. So let's go to Retromania. This is the Mecca of Wrestling Arenas where it all started 30 years ago. Let's go. Of course, in these intros are really high. I love the crowd. I love the way they're animated. Uh, so it's definitely a retro style game. But they're using like more modern technology to make it really cool. So I appreciate that. So this game is growing on me. At first, I was really, I didn't know if I was going to get this game or not. The following singles match is scheduled for one fall and has no time limit. Introducing first, from Las Vegas, Nevada, the universal heartthrob, Austin Idol. And his opponent, from Chicago, Illinois, Road Warrior Animal. Let's get to the last one. We're gonna build it up. Everything in the beginning. I can't even see my, my health bar now because my Twitch box is in a way. But everything in the beginning, you're gonna use um, the light attacks. Boom, I'm doing all light attacks here, all light. Even when I'm punching, I'm doing light attacks. And if you want to throw them to the corner, you press Y instead of pressing the other button. Then Y is to run. I haven't really ran too much. I'm doing more punching. And when it does tell you to tap the button, you're like in a grapple or box. Boom. And I'm not sure how to reverse. That is something I don't know too. I'm probably already in the mediums. So I'm going to do some kicks. Medium is kicking me up soon. So we're spinning Rooney. It's a little medium move there. Probably gonna definitely switch back to the other side because I can't see my meter. But I'm pretty sure I'm in the middle at least. Punch, punch, punch. Swing it around. Put the guts in the fire here. Do I have. Oh, I got hard. I got heavy moves. I guess what they would call specific. So I think I'm on heavy moves here. The lucky win. Heavy. Got some kind of bear hug. Oh, he got out. Another move here, heavy. Oh. To get out the ring, you have to double tap where you want to go. So I'm going to double tap down, down. Then down, down again. Then you, do have, you have to hit a count of 20. That's another good tip there. I didn't. I thought it was 10. Should I do a move right here? Oh! Ooh, beautiful, strong move there by Animal. Ah. Win by count. I was like, it's good. <laughs> see, it, it, see that one of the, like I said in the beginning, put it on easy, and it makes it makes you feel like a champ because you're beating the shit out of all these people. Uh, but you can move it up after that. But if you're just learning again, if you're just learning the moves, learning the buttons, put it on easy, and it makes it a lot easier to learn everything. So when it gets harder. You're ready for that. Let's do another versus, but let's do something crazy. Let's do a triple threat. Let's do, uh... Bucky, you know what we can do? Let's do a Retro Rumble. Let's get into it. Retro Rumble. I have not even done this yet. 16 enter and one remain. Do you have what it takes? I think so. Who should I be? I'm gonna be Dreamer. The hardcore legend Dreamer. Uh... Oh, it's only me. So I guess you can get up to eight people locally, which is kind of a good thing if you have a lot of if you have a lot of friends to play with at home, and you have a few controllers laying around. I have about three. Um, you can have your friends play at home. They sh uh, hopefully they're gonna add some online stuff, and that'll be like that'll be really cool. So I'm gonna be Tommy Dreamer. I think that's all I can do there. And I go to stage. We already seen retro. High school, let's make it grand here. Let's go to something really pro wrestling tees, maybe NWA Power. Let's go to the 70th anniversary of NWA. Shout out to Cornet out there. I, I am a big fan Welcome of Cornet. I do like this takes on wrestling, not everything. 
Retro Rumble. Oh, Austin, that's pretty sweet. Oh, boom, Retro Rumble. First time ever here for XT7 on Switch. And he said the game's on YouTube. Oh, here comes Johnny Retro. I am Tommy Jr. That was the green. Jimmy to the road. Streamer gets flipped. Here comes the blue meanie. Into the ropes he goes. Another man enters. Oh, Johnny Retro. I mean, I gotta use the calling. Some of his action here. Oh! Nice. Look at that guy that he Props to the moveset. Like, I would think. You would think just because the game was retro, like this, it has a limited moveset. But look at that. Boom. Everybody has something I really haven't seen before. And then here comes a whole bunch of people. And I got. Oh! You too? You want some of this? Oh! <laughs> locking up with everybody. I got full meter. Boom! Everybody get that. You want some of this too? You get some of that too. <laughs> oh, no, Teddy, I, I played this on the defense. So it was just one. And it, it was one. Whatever setting it is higher than it is now. This shit was crazy. I could not my ass with the whole time. I could learn shit. Well, impressive. You gotta pin the person, okay. I like that better. So dangerous. Oh dude! Power driver. My bad. Oh dreamer! Elbow drop! But when you get that full meter, when you get all your moves so that's the most part. Awesome. We got ooh, we got four. Beat him. Oh, um, but if, 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 one thing is if you hold somebody and you're ready to go to a move and you move them around, you do have a limited time. So you will break that. Oh, Juma Driver! Oh. Alright. My first appeal attempt, and that was even close. I'm not even sure who's out, who's in, but I know I'm still in. Formidable Dreamer. I'm just beating on fools. I don't even know who has a good what health in the <laughs> Anybody in my way is beating them down. Tommy Dreamer. Innovator of violence. Teaming up with the Innovator on YouTube. Then look at these guys. It's a mosh pit. It's a mosh. Oh, what are Whoa. That counts in. Boom, Jimmy with the power drive. You know, hardcore. Jimmy didn't knock somebody else out. Boom. Dream, oh, damn. In the corner, there's some space here. Oh, nice cover. And, oh, he's dead. Ooh, a three count. I don't know who the hell I even hit there, but somebody was there. Oh, come on, try to do something. The marsh pit. Oh, I, got, I came out. I came out with a bag on this. Power driver by Dreamer. See the corner move here. Oh, I just knocked it straight out. That was awesome. It is awesome. Oh, I got an achievement. Something just popped. No one gets up from that. Land three finishing moves in one match. It does have quite a bit of achievements. It has like 30 second achievements in this game. That's pretty sweet. Dreamer just taking everybody down. And he wants it. You want some of this poor horse? You going down too? 
Oh crap. The animal just took us both down. Jammer Driver again! Another pain on animal off he's a pain. So what? To the corner. Bulldog! Oh, there he goes. Oh, there he goes. Come here, boy. Come here, brah. Come here, here. That's a Jimmy Drama. Jimmy Drama is down and beat. Damn, my head is awesome. You see, this is pretty hot. I really like this. It's my first time painting. I really like it. Oh, the car was flipping. You just brush this is all that pressure. Someone else is coming in. It comes hard. I'm gonna throw somebody ass out. So then we're going crazy, Ultimate Warrior style. Oh, he gets flipped. That was hot. <laughs> that was hot. I got flipped. Oh, and I got it again. That's Brad Myers. There. Some of the the round pops. Oh. Time to dream, man. The better violence. Ooh. Oh, Not even close. He just came in. I'm pretty sure that. Time to dream again. Beautiful. That's the last of this dude. Dreamer, top rope, super blitz! Oh! The top rope, super blitz, my Dreamer! Oh, the Oxus! He knocks the fuck out! This is hardcore! Dreamer! Oh! This is pretty sweet, I can't fly! This is what he does here! Into the ropes he goes! And again, mm, gotcha. Going for some top rope action, not even close. Bye bye. I think that's a corner for me, sure, if I'm doing there. Mm. Oh shit. Oh, I got my shit back. Give me it back. Give me it back. We're the last three. Cardona, Hawk, and Tommy Jr. left here in the Retro Rumble. Both these full of crap. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Bam! Oh, he booted me! Nice boot by the car. Bye. Oh, I thought he was out of here. Oh, nice. Cardona over the DDT. We both have. We both have a full meter. He has his finisher. Now I do have my finisher. Oh, shit. Oh, Dreamer gets out of it. Oh, I got drop kicks. Dreamer looking for something. Oh, oh shit. Sure. Watch out for the drop kick. Oh, Cardona. We're gonna take down. Hardcore Tommy Jr. We're gonna take him out here. Dreamer Driver! No one kicks out. Uh, except if you're his dude. Oh man. Kicking out the Dreamer Driver. 
Your man had a steam. Oh, mama. If you do running attacks, you definitely got a time limit. You don't have the time limit. And Dreamer again. Oh, man. What a hell of a, hell of a rumble here. Oh, I can do a corner move. Dreamer again? Ooh. Oh, get down, bro. Gonna keep this guy that oh boot. Those Cardona punches are stiffer than an action figure. Get up, Cardona. Textbook, yeah. Oh, the old lady. Dreamer driver. Oh. I don't know if that was, but damn, this dude ain't gonna stay down. To get a take. Oh, reversal. What's he gonna do? Oh, wait, this is a round. What a match. What a rumble. Tommy Dreamer. 